Hello and welcome to Eco Farms. This is episode 17. And we're just going to kick off this episode with a quick run through of some of the daily chores. It's just going to be a quick run through, basically delivering some of our crops, making a little bit of money so that we can feed our pigs. Let's see how much we're going to make here. Yeah, so basically we're going to be still working on our pig problem and in a little while we'll go through and we'll sell our first pigs just reduce our pig numbers and start bringing some income in it won't be at the best prices available for for pigs but um, it, I have a little bit of a plan going which I'll explain to you a little bit later. Right, seems to be taking a little while to deliver all the crops. Yep, so that's everything that can be sold in the farm shop. Oh, we're still going to deliver the noodles, but the noodles we deliver at the back. It's brought in a nice little bit of money and it'll take all the rest of the of the crops through here so it's all gone into the farm shop and at least we've got a little bit of money in the kitty not a huge amount but a little we'll head on back to the farm i think we still got some eggs to pick up Yeah, so the routine is pretty standard. We'll show little bits and pieces just to uh, keep you updated with what we're doing. And of course there might be additions to our routines as we go along. So we've got some eggs which need to go into the pizzeria. Fairly good price there. We're starting to get a reasonable amount of eggs now. There we go. This should bring in a reasonable amount of money as well. Yeah, just under 4,000. Pretty good. Yeah, we have to start working on some better paying crops as well to bring in some extra money, but we'll work on that as we go along. Right, so I'm just going to pop a bit of extra feed into the to the pigs as soon as we're going to go up there. We just got some corn in here. It's part of the base crop, or the base food, should I say. We've got the we've planted the sunflowers in the last episode. In this episode we're still going to have to plant some sorghum I think we'll do which is part of the base crop. We've got a big, big field plus another oh, smallish field, medium sized field for, for our farm to plant as well. It'll be done during the course of the episode. Just get this corn in and then I think we can Let's see if we can get it without. I think this is going to be a tip and go one, I think. Yeah, there we go. Still haven't quite fully mastered exactly where to park. I get it right, I get it right about six times out of ten, I think. But there's always the the one where I get too close and you've got to keep bumping it. Not a serious problem. Still like this mod. We've still got a little bit of this pesky delivery to make. <laughs> uh, as I say, I get it right sometimes. 
Hey, that looks like is where where I should have been in the first place. Anyway, it's done. Right, let's have a look and see where we are. Protein is zero, so we need to put some sunflower in, I think. We can load up some sunflower and take it over to the pigs and get them fed. They should be okay for the next, well, it's probably until the end of the day when we'll probably have to just top up bits and pieces. It's also going to depend on uh, on how many pigs we eventually end up having in our in our pen. A little bit of a giveaway there to what's coming up, but we'll get to that soon enough. So that's uh, that's where I should have been for the last lot. That's much better. I don't think that's going to be kicked away. Yeah, we'll get that all sorted out in one lot. Fantastic. Good stuff. Like that. It's all done. Right. I think the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some lime on the two fields that we're going to plant today. We are going to plant uh, two fields with um, what are we going to plant? We're going to plant sorghum which is one of the base foods for the pig, pigs. So at this point in time we have a potato field, uh, we have a two fields of sunflower which will provide the protein potato field of course provides the root the root crop and we'll have two fields of sorghum two fair size fields one slightly bigger than the other um, and then we will also have another two fields made with uh, that we'll plant with corn which is another base crop so the base crop corn and sorghum makes up 50 percent of their feed so we need to make sure we have that We'll also be able to cover our grains, hopefully, from the excess that we have uh, from all the wheat that we've planted. But we'll have to see how that works out because that's got to be shared with the chickens, the wheat, and also try and keep the uh, bakery going, the flour production, so we can keep the bakery going. Right, it's going to top up with... Some more lime. Looks like we have to buy some more lime. Yep, so that should be good. So let's get uh, let's get down and go and finish off that field. What we will do is we will try and uh, and. Um, just jump cut to the end of the, the job. Oh, stop, stop, stop. I don't know why it wouldn't stop there. Well, I suppose I do know why it's getting pushed by two, two tons of fertilizer behind it. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, so that's the, just about finished this big field with lime. Bit rough because it's been ploughed but we won't need to uh, put the cultivator over because our cedar is a uh, it's a direct troll so it's fine that's it done let's get on over to the to our plough and we'll go and create our two new fields and then once we've done that then we can we can lime all the fields or we can lime the fields as well so we've got this field over here which will have sorghum planted in it eventually just 
Just having a look to see where I'm going to start with these fields. I think I should really go on the other side, of the, make a big field on the other side of the road and then come back in because we're going to have to dodge trees. It's become apparent to me that we um, do need to maximize our use of space to the best of our ability given our eco-credentials of course. So we will try and make slightly bigger fields, um, slightly odd shaped fields to go around the trees. Obviously we are not able to cut down any trees because of our eco principles. So we'll have to just make a plan as as we go along. And if fields have slightly funny shapes, that's okay. We should still be able to get workers on them or at least we'll be able to get workers on to do some of the work as we get bigger and need to um, concentrate on on multiple tasks at the same time and we have enough money to buy extra machinery of course <laughs> right now we've only got one tractor so we can only really do one job at a time but having said that we seem to be coping And there's one of our first little shapes we get around these trees, make use of some of that space there. There we go. Right, just jump cut to the end of the job. It's pretty much, pretty much done now. Just got to finish off this, this little slither. It does take quite a while to do with the size of machinery that we have, um, but that's just a fact of life and until we get bigger electric vehicles with more power, this is what we will have to work with. Not complaining mind you, we seem to have been doing fairly well with this one little tractor that's been doing a sterling job. just takes a little bit more more time, a little bit longer to do what we have to do. But that's also that's part of the the charm if you want to call it of having a eco-friendly farm. You've got to work with what with the the equipment and technology that's available as that sector grows it will of course become bigger and bigger and we will have other options with regard to more powerful agricultural vehicles that are oh, that don't use as much or any fossil fuel of course in any case we'll see what type of field shape of field we get out of this lot now so we'll start here and I think we'll have to go up to as far as we can over the hill it's not too steep most of our equipment will be able to handle that so quite acceptable to have a field worked amongst the trees on this side of the of the road just speed it up slightly and then we'll just show you what the shape of the field looks like so we'll go up to pretty much the tree line here and then back down we'll skirt that tree on the right hand side there keep to the top it's a little bit of a sloping field but we have to cut inside that yeah it's a little yeah so it's uh, quite a funny shaped field but we'll have one tree in the field same as we've had we had a we've got a tree in the other field as well when you I'm quite happy to have sort of single trees in the field but um, I don't want to have big clumps of trees in the tree because that just makes it makes it difficult for for us to harvest, plant, etc. Right, let's just get this done and then we'll jump through to the end of the plowing. Do a bit of a jump cut. Yeah, not much left to do now. And then we've got our got pretty much all our fields that we can do in the 
land that we've got. We do have another piece of land uh, on the outskirts of the town, but I'm loath to put a f to put fields in there just yet. Maybe in the top end we will do that, but I need to think about that a little bit. I think I want to put um, um, fruit orchards down that area. Um, well, eventually to um, simulate having uh, pick your own orchards of course there's no way we can have pick your own in the farm just in, in farm simulator just yet but uh, who knows but we'll just put it there just as a it'll just look better fruit orchards next to the town than big fields just about finished yeah it hasn't really been struggling pulling the this plow through through the fields seems to be doing it quite easily so yeah, some oh, I'm quite happy with that Quite happy with the fields that we've got at the moment. I just don't know if it's going to be able to make us whether we'll be able to feed our pigs for a whole season before we um, have the next crop coming out. So what I've tried to do with the sorghum that we will plant later this month um, and then these fields that I've made now with the corn, I suppose I should have actually left it for the next month to plow it up as well. Um, but um, the corn will come come through a little bit later and hopefully between the, the four fields we'll have enough base food uh, for quite a few months it'll allow us to save up to buy perhaps another piece of land uh, adjoining adjoining the main sort of farm area to be able to make a couple of more fields to keep the pigs going and mainly because we want to get enough uh, manure to be able to um, to arbitrage and basically get ourselves free fertilizer um, and maybe even make a little bit of a profit on the fertilizer in any case that's that done I don't think we need the plow any longer right, I'm headed back down to the pigs because I'm going to take you through what I want to do with the pigs. So essentially at the end of the day I want to be able to sell pigs at 25 months old. Our original stock is around about 18-19 months old so there's still a while before we can sell those. They are at around 470 euros at the moment for those original ones. So to bring in some interim income I've decided to go through and sell all the to grow the piglets the male piglets until they reach boar status which will then give us at least a hundred euros per per boar if we um, if we um, if we sell them as soon as they become in boars I think 114 or 115 We've got some older ones now, so there's the first lot sold, 60 of them, there's still 34 more. So that'll bring in a nice little bit of income. So we're going to sell all the boars, then we'll wait for, hopefully we'll start getting a, a continuous cycle now of, um, of piglets, male piglets turning into boars, and we'll sell them as soon as they are, as I said, as soon as they become boars, and that'll just do a bit of turnover that also gives space for more uh, sows to be to be born and retained in the uh, in the in the in the pig pen and eventually we should just have sows um, and well we won't just have sows because the idea is that we get to a stage where we can then rotate through the sows that or will, will be sows that have reached 
what are called saleable age at 25 months but still have a lot of sows producing the next generation as such we'll see how it works I'm not sure I've really made it very clear how I'm going to be doing it but for now if I see a, bo a, a male ball I'm selling it <laughs> uh, but I'm not going to be selling the um, por the, the porker females right now we need to go and uh, arbitrage our manure so we're going to sell the 40,000 litres that we have that the pigs have produced and incidentally I've run out of um, out of uh, straw so we're gonna have to wait for the wheat harvest to come in to top the straw up so we're going to have to be buying in um, some manure or we won't be able to arbitrage the manure that we that we have oh, I just think I'm gonna change my mind I think I'm gonna finish off the 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 liming of those fields get the lime on quickly shouldn't take too long oops I was going to just go and fill up with lime but I think we're going to need quite a bit of lime here so what I'm going to do is just drop off the the lime spreader and then I'll get the trailer out and I'll load it up with quite a well, maybe eight bags of lime and then bring it down here and just fill it up so we don't have to be traipsing back and forth to our delivery area let's go and get that changed yeah we'll just put load these up now i think we've i've done six to start with but uh I think we should be able to get more than six on. Well, let's just see where we go with the six. Yeah, we'll get more on. We'll buy another four after this, I think. It'll give us ten then. It should get us through all the liming that we need to do. There we go. That's it all done. Oops, I forgot to take the um, super strength off. <laughs> Moved the tractor, dropped a head and strapped them in, so it dropped off a bale. At least not a bale. They. Uh, a bag that's sorted out not too much of a problem we'll just nip around and go and connect our tractor up to the spreader I do like this um, lime spreader fertilizer spreader as well of course biggest drawback is only 2,000 liters probably work quite well with a fertilizer spreading dry fertilizer of course we can't use fertilizer but um, yeah um, so you have to keep your supply of uh, of lime pretty close to your fields but with a trailer this size you can do a fair amount of fuel that I, I would pretty much I'm pretty much confident that we'd be able to line this and the field across the road as well so I don't think it's too much of an issue got to get a move on with this because we've still got to oh, we're going to run into problems with uh, planting we've got to plant the sorghum don't know why I did this job first well we just about finished now done both the fields we still got oh, four four bales and four bales, four bags <laughs> left. 
Um, it's done. I suppose it's a job done, but we're putting pressure on ourselves now to get the uh, the planting done. I think we're going to run into darkness. Still got to put some fertilizer on these fields. We're going to do a double application, so it's going to take a little bit longer as well. Putting further pressure on us planting. But hey, rather get this fertilized 100% and we can run the planter through and not the planter, the cedar through. Do that as quickly as we can. But I can certainly see myself um, rolling in the dark again. <laughs> not sure that sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> we will be rolling these fields in the dark again, I'm pretty sure. Um, right. That's good. That's all that done. Let's go and get the seed out and fill it up with seed. And I'm sure you've noticed that there's been a bag lingering a big bag lingering around the the, um, the the delivery area and it is I thought it was seed but it was actually lime so that poor lime bag has been watching all this other lime being loaded and used and I've just been ignoring it <laughs> but yeah get out and check Next time. There we go, let's make sure we've got everything right. It's sorghum planting. Fabulous. Let's get this started. Get it going. Do this as quickly as possible. What's the time? Yeah, we're definitely gonna run into darkness. Yeah, it's a bit of a misappropriation of time today. I did all those other those extra fields. And I should have been planting first and then worrying about those fields afterwards. Not good time management at all. In fact, poor time man management. But that just means we have to work in the dark. And deal with associated problems with the dark. Missing areas. If I can get all the planting done before it gets too dark I'll be happy whoa still got this little bit to do and we're still feeling we haven't finished the first field yeah. well we're gonna find out I'm going to have to plant the other field in the dark we're gonna find out how much I miss when I start coming up tomorrow <laughs> oh dear 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 this is not going well all my fault for uh, making fields when I should have been planting fields. I do like to make a field though. This is probably the issue. <laughs> right, this that one done. Let's find our way through to the other field. Got just about time to get started before the light goes. There we go. We'll just do a little bit and then we'll jump to the end. See how dark it is when we finished. Yeah, pitch dark. I think we've pretty much covered everything. There might be little spots. We'll do a quick whip around and have a check to see if there's any spots that have been missed. But we're definitely going to be rolling in the dark. That's for sure. Let's have a quick look. Anything more? No. Uh, looks okay. Are oh, these a little bit there? We will, we'll plant that. Oh, lift it too soon. Lift it too soon. 
still must oh maybe it's not planting there let's try again there we go all right that's that done now we need to go and find the roller oh, there's a little, little spot there that i saw that missed Probably not worth going back for that right now. Got to find our way back to the <laughs> to the to the barn area, to the shed area, without driving over any of the fields. Right, so we're going to go and get out the roller, get rolling. I think that's where we're going to end this episode. Um, I will try not to miss too much of the rolling in the dark. We'll also be able to tell, well, we won't really be able to tell tomorrow because the crop will be grown up. Well, that's that episode done. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this episode and if you're enjoying this series, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.